Next I'm going to show you how useful the side chaining feature in compressors can benefit you in composing music for dance or any pop style music where you really want a pulsating drive. So what we're going to do is create a drum pattern, preferably a kick on the first note. Um, I use Alter Beat. Select whatever drums you want. That doesn't really matter because you're not going to hear them. Um, open up Alter Beat. Create your kick pattern. And then to drag the sequence you want, just click and drag the sequence to the arrange window. Very simple. Since I have mine already laid out, I'm going to use the one I made. Next what we're going to do is by default your output is stereo output. It's going to look like this. Click and hold and select no output. Also now create a send. We're going to send to bus 1, which I already did. Just click and hold, choose bus 1 if it's not in use. And if you hold option and click on the send, it automatically sends to 0. Now that you have sent this to an auxiliary track, bus 1 should show up right next to it. Again, this is set to stereo output by default. Click and hold and select no output. Now, of course, you're not going to hear any drums when you play. Just the synth sound I have going. Uh, next, create a software instrument. Choose a synth, preferably a pad, because you want something that has long overtones like this. Something that can be held and drawn out for a long amount of time. You can choose any pad you want. I just chose this one randomly. Now we should have a built-in compressor. If it doesn't, you can always click and add Dynamics, Compressor, Stereo. But where this one already had a compressor, we're just going to use this. As you can see, I have the settings already up here. Uh, first things first, go up to your side chain up here on the right. By default, it's probably going to say none. Scroll down to see bus 1. Side chain detection, you can do max, that's fine. You can use any, uh, any circuit type you would like. I'm going to use platinum. As you can see, my ratio, it's pretty squashed. It's a 19 to 1 ratio, pretty quick attack. Fairly slow release. I got this on auto. A limiter just to be safe. I haven't touched the gain with a limiter threshold. What you are going to want to do is play around with the release, the ratio, and the threshold. These settings don't have to be exact to mine. This is what you're going to develop by ear. So now when I play my synth sound, instead of that, we're going to hear this. has a real nice pulsating sound to it and we can still play with the settings in here Definitely has that dance feel to it. It's a nice pulsating sound. Uh, very easy to do. Now, if you wanted, you could duplicate this track, which I already have. I just hit it. And now on the duplicated track, we'll just come back, hit stereo output instead of no output, and disable the bus by holding option and clicking bus one. And now we have a little drum beat behind this. And that's how you use the side chain and compressors. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, please comment, message me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, as always, stay tuned for some more videos with Logic Pro. Thanks for watching.